Hi! Welcome to today's Kingdom Kids Connect video. My name is Kelly, and today we're going to learn about how Jesus was questioned. But before we do that, we're going to play a game. You guys can remain seated for this one. We're going to play one hand, two hands, or no hands. We've played this one before, but if you don't know how it works, I'm going to count down from three. And at the end, I'm going to either hold up one hand, two hands, or no hands. Whoever matches me wins. Ready? Okay. Three, two, one. Who has both hands up? If you do, give yourself a clap. Well done. All right, we'll play another round. Ready? Three, two, one. Who has no hands up? Awesome. Okay, last round. Ready? Three, two, one. Who has one hand up? Awesome. Give yourself a pat on the back. All right, let's begin today's story. But first, I need my water. No, I'm just kidding. I need my book. So, um, I guess we can just try to snap it into my hands. Uh, let me get warmed up here. All right. Book, please. Oh, and just, let's try this again. Book, please. Okay, it looks like I need you guys' help. Can you guys rub your hands together and say book, please, and snap your fingers? Awesome. Ready? Go. Book, please. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for all your help. Let's get on with today's story. The religious leaders heard Jesus teaching in Jerusalem, and they decided to ask tricky questions to catch him in saying something wrong. They sent some men to Jesus. The men said, Teacher, we know you tell the truth. Is it right to pay taxes to Caesar or not? Jesus knew what they were doing. Why are you trying to trick me? He asked. Show me the coin you use to pay taxes. The men brought him a denarius. Jesus asked, Whose picture is on this coin? Whose name is on it? Caesar's, they answered. Jesus said, Then give to Caesar what is Caesar's, and give to God what belongs to God. The men were amazed at what Jesus said, and they went away. Later, the religious leaders came to question Jesus again. Teacher, which command in the law is the greatest? They asked. Jesus answered, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second most important command is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. A man said to Jesus, That's right. To love God and your neighbor as yourself is far more important than offerings and sacrifices. The man answered wisely, and Jesus said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. Then Jesus asked the religious leaders a question. Whose son is the Messiah? David's, they said. How can that be? Jesus asked. David called the Messiah Lord. Why would he do that if the Messiah is his son? The religious leaders didn't know what to say. Their plan had failed, and no one was brave enough to ask him any more questions. When the religious leaders questioned Jesus, he answered with wisdom and power. Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God. He is the Word of God, who came down to show us exactly what God is like. Jesus has authority on heaven and on earth. Okay, so we're going to watch a quick little recap video, and I'm going to ask you guys some questions at the end. So turn on those listening ears, catch your bubbles, and pay attention to the recap. Ready, set, go! Hello friends, it's me, Megan, and this is Jessie. Megan, want to try to answer a riddle? Uh, sure. Do you know what a riddle is? Yes, a uh, riddle is a question that is tricky to answer. Good, okay. <clears throat> what comes down but never goes up? Rain. Uh, how did you know that? <laughs> I've heard that one before. Oh, okay. <clears throat> well, what gets wet while it's drying? A uh, towel. Oh, man! I'm sorry, Jesse. I'm good at riddles. 
You know who else is good at answering tricky questions? Who? Jesus. In today's Bible story, some of the religious leaders tried to trick Jesus by asking him hard questions. But no one can trick Jesus, and no question is too hard for him. Listen to the story. The religious leaders heard Jesus' teaching, and they decided to try to trick him by asking him a question. Some men went to Jesus and said, Teacher, we know you tell the truth. Is it right to pay taxes to Caesar or not? Why are you trying to trick me? Jesus asked. Then he told them to show him what money they used to pay taxes. The men brought him a coin. Jesus asked, Whose picture is on the coin? Whose name is on it? Caesar's, they said. Jesus said, then give to Caesar what is Caesar's and give to God what is God's. The men were amazed and they went away. Later, the religious leaders asked Jesus, teacher, which command in the law is the most important of all? Jesus answered, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind and with all your strength. The second most important command is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. A man said to Jesus, that's right. Loving God and your neighbor as yourself is far more important than offerings and sacrifices. The man's answer was wise and Jesus said to him, you are close to God's kingdom. Then Jesus asked the religious leaders, whose son is the Messiah? David's son, they said. How can that be? Jesus asked. David called the Messiah Lord. Why would he call his own son Lord? The religious leaders did not know what to say, so they did not ask Jesus any more questions. When the religious leaders asked Jesus questions, he answered with wisdom. Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God. He came to show us what God is like. Jesus has power in heaven and on earth. Question one, how did Jesus answer when the leaders asked if they should pay taxes to Caesar? He said, give to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. Question 2. Which law did Jesus say was the greatest commandment? Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Question three. What did Jesus say is the second greatest command? Yeah, love your neighbor as yourself. Okay, last question, question four. How are we sometimes like the religious leaders? I'm sure those are all good answers. But the main one is that we trust our own way rather than trusting that Jesus is Lord. So I want to give you guys two challenges this week. Again, I want you to get into your Bible every single day this week for at least five minutes. Think you can do that? Awesome. All right, your second challenge 
is to show somebody that you love them. Maybe that's helping clean up after yourself. Maybe that's giving somebody a hug. I'm sure you guys can think of many other ways that you can show that you love your neighbor. All right, that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you next week. Bye!